The best exercise for your tricep mass. We're going to be focusing on building the tricep. The tricep is the muscle in the back of the arm. This one right here. The arm is composed of the bicep and the tricep and the tricep is composed of 70% of the arm. So if you want big arms, we gotta build that muscle. We gotta build a tricep. The tricep is composed of three heads. There's the long head, this one right here. There's the lateral head, this one right here. And the medial head, which is a little one right here. Since the tricep it's mostly composed of the long head, which is the biggest one. We're going to be mainly focusing on that muscle, okay? We got five exercises on this routine. We got five exercises, and each exercise was performed for four sets. As the sets increases, as we progress through the sets, first, uh, first set, second set, third set, so on, the weight is going to increase, and the reps are going to decrease, okay? We're going to start off with 15 reps, then 12 reps, then 10 reps, and then finally with 8 reps, okay? So let's get on to it. The first exercise that we're going to do is called the Barbell Skull Crushers. Barbell Skull Crushers is going to pick an easy bar, which is the one that has all the curves, okay? You're going to pick a reasonable weight. You're going to hold it close to the middle, right? Your hands close together. What I want you to focus with this exercise, keep your elbows in one place. Don't allow it to move it around, okay? I want you to keep it in one place. The only thing you're gonna be moving is your forearm just like this, okay? So you're gonna be laying down on the bench. Bring the bar all the way to your forehead, okay? Control that negative. I want you to control that negative and then explode all the way up, okay? Control the negative and explode all, explode, explode all the way up, okay? That's the first exercise. It's gonna be barbell skull crushers. After that exercise, we're going to be moving into what is called a flat bench close grip press. It's mostly, it's, it's, very, it's very similar to the barbell bench press, which is this exercise right here with the bar. But instead of having your elbows flared out to target the chest, we're going to be bringing those elbows all the way in so we target the tricep, okay? You will see in the video that I actually take my index finger and wrap it around where it starts to get soft in the bar in both sides. That's mostly, for most people, it's going to be shoulder width apart. That's what you want. You want your, your hand placement to be shoulder width apart. And you're going to bring it all the way below your chest line. Okay? Bring it all the way below your chest line. Bring the bar all the way down and explode all the way up. All the way down and explode all the way up. Remember to control the negative. The negative is the most important part of the rep. Okay? Focus on the negative. The third exercise that we're going to be going to it's called the individual overhead extension. You're gonna pick a dumbbell, right? It's gonna be individual. You're gonna pick a dumbbell, you're gonna hold it over your head, just like this, okay? Let me, let me lower this, hold on, okay. Just like this, and what you want to do is keep your, keeping your elbow in that place, don't let it move it around, bring it all the way behind your head, as low as possible, and then press, uh, press it all the way up. Lower it, and then press it all the way up. You're gonna do that for both arms, okay? It's very, you're gonna notice a trend here. For every single tricep exercise, the elbow needs to stay in the same position. That's how you, try, that's how you target the tricep. You need to do it that way. That's how you target it, that's how the muscle's gonna get the most benefit, how you're gonna get the most benefit out of the exercise and create the most demand for growth, okay? So the fourth exercise is called the individual rope extension. You're gonna go to the cable pulleys. Most gyms have this individual rope, where it's just one rope, but if it doesn't have it, you can use the one that has both ropes. Make a knot and grab it with one hand. The, the, the most important part of this exercise is when you push down, right? When you, do, when you do the extension, right? I want you to focus on the, keeping your elbow in the one place. I want you to keep your uh, focus on the wrist twisting at the end of the exercise. You're gonna be twisting. What that's going to do is gonna target this head right here, right? You're gonna be contracting that muscle. Keep the elbow in one place and then twist that wrist at the end of the, of the, of the repetition. Do it for both arms. And for the fifth and final exercise, 
It's called the V-Bar Extension. It's a, it's, a, it's a handle that is mostly like this. It just looks like, like a V, okay? You're gonna hold it, keeping your elbows in one place, press it all the way down. And press it, push down. It's, it's, it's mostly a push down. And push down, okay? The same reps, remember, recap. Barbell skull crushers. A barbell uh, close grip bench. Individual overhead ex uh, extensions. Individual rope extension and barbell uh, V-bar push down. The reps, 15, 12, 10, 8. Do all of these. If you want to do a finisher, watch the other video that I just uploaded before this one and add it up to that routine. You're gonna absolutely love the results, I promise you. Let me know in the, let me know in the description down below what you thought about the, the routine, okay? Remember to join the Telegram group so you can ask me any question that you like fitness related, it's completely free, okay? It's, you know, it's a win-win, you're winning. Um, remember to follow me on social media, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.